Well, I'm feeling very well. I mean, it's, uh, it's been a fantastic uh, 33 years. I started here in 1980 when uh, Bjorn Borg won the tournament. And uh, I've seen all the big players, McEnroe, Lendl, Connors, all the Swedes, Edberg, Wielander, Björkman, Johansson, you name them. So I think I have... <clears throat> I've seen a lot and I, I'm very happy with what I've achieved and uh, to be part of this uh, tournament has been fantastic. And which one of all of those memories is the best? The best must be the first final I did. I mean I did <coughs> the final 1997 it was my first singles final with uh, Jonas Björkman against Jan Simmerink. And Björkman won, and we played best of five sets at that time, and Björkman won in four sets. That is my best memory on a personal level. But of course, one of the biggest memories I have is from 1984, when Mr. McEnroe uh, got a warning and a point when he uh, destroyed uh, the ice ball or whatever it was and he was a little upset so that was I was on a service line doing that match and I was just doing my job but it was just uh, surprised to see what happened and uh, how it developed you're gonna miss it here in Stockholm of course I'm gonna miss it but you know it's like uh, somebody invite you to a party it's better to leave the party when uh, you feel it's fun still, then that people have to ask you to leave the party. So I think uh, this is the good time for me to do it. I enjoy it and uh, I still can uh, perform on the, on the highest level. And what are you going to do now after you're quitting? I'm going to work uh, for ATP. I'm going to work in the ATP uh, uh, headquarters in Ponte Vedra Beach in Florida. I'm going to work there with the administration of uh, the officiating group and uh, different you know, rule issues and uh, other things that concerns officiating. But I'm also going to work as a supervisor one week a month. So I'm still going to keep uh, some contact with reality, what's happening on the tennis court. What special thing do you going to miss most? In Stockholm, it must be these wooden benches I'm going to miss when, when people are getting a little excited, when they think it's a great match and when they are starting you know, <clears throat> using their feet here and you get this special noise from the wooden benches. But of course I'm going to miss the, the, the feeling when you go up in the chair and uh, you know that you have a split, split second to make a decision and uh, right or wrong you have to make that decision and that's going to be of course I'm going to miss that a lot because it's a special feeling to go up in the chair and uh, keep the concentration 100% for one hour, two hours, three hours and even up to five hours.